What's up guys? Devil Dog Gamer here and we're playing some Space Engineers and this is a ship I got off the workshop, the Magellan, because of course I don't have time to make cool awesome ships like this so I just fucking download them. Which is great because I actually fucking, I love like trolling through the Steam Workshop see what kind of awesome ships are, are on there. I like the modded ships. I hate the guys that use vanilla stuff only. It's kind of lame. But anyways, the reason we're playing Space Engineers is because... Well, I got an opinion about space games, and I think Space Engineers is the perfect thing to do it with. So we're going to explore this ship while we talk about it. So my biggest gripe about all these space games at the moment... That's kind of cool. Oh! Jizz! My biggest gripe about all these space games right now is the fact that... Out of all the space games there are... That's cool, that's cool. Not many of them have planets. And I'm stuck for some reason. On some sort of... There we go. So, you look at games like Star Citizen, which doesn't have much shit to begin with anyways. Um, Elite Dangerous, uh, Space Engineers, none of them have planets. Uh, granted, Space Engineers has asteroids, and Elite Dangerous is going to add planets at some point in time. But the one thing I miss after playing Kerbal Space Program so much is just the whole idea of landing a ship on a planet in space. And I feel just space is so empty without actually being able to go down and explore these planets. And um, the great news is, because if you've been noticing with Space Engineers, they're adding oxygen. And the reason they're adding oxygen is because they are going to add planets. Now, we'll talk a little bit about this. Let's get this ship rolling. And then we'll talk about them adding planets and what they can do. Important. Don't forget your helmet. Or death will ensure. Safety first. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, this is sweet. Ha! Oh, sweet. Okay, gangster. What's this? Toilet, of course. Uh, more cargo. Kitchen. Stove on. Oh, that's cool. First aid. And these are probably rooms. Yep. Could have guessed it. Oh, little stations. That's cool. Turn all the screens on and off. To yeah, that's, that's sweet. This ship's awesome, man. Alright. Ooh. So pretty. Okay, so first off, cockpit seat, nope. Screen left. Shut down. What? There we go. Deploy screen. Deploy middle screen. That's cool. Cockpit lights off. Oh, that's gangster. Right screen. Awesome. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. I'm all about this now. Let's hop in the seat. Hold on, I gotta see these engines, dude. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, cool, the reactors. Oh, shields! That's so cool, reactor shields! Cool. Okay, let's shield the reactors, because, you know, unshielded reactors are, are bad juju. Damn. This is crazy. It's crazy. Okay, so let's swivel the seat. Hop in this bitch. All right. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I'm not sure what any of these do. Okay, that swivels the seat. Welcome aboard. Okay, so four is flight mode apparently. So I guess the engines are on. No, let's turn them on. There we go. Turning the engines on. Four is flight mode, six is the screen, that's the screens, okay. So let's hop into flight mode. That's cool. Unlock the gear. And take off. Why can't I unlock the gear? Son of a bitch. A 
lights, hinge screens. I think I turned on a uh, an alarm somewhere. There we go. I, I guess I turned it off. Uh, landing gear. I don't know why they are connected. Toggle block off. Toggle block off. 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 There we go. Why? Why? <laughs> You're gonna piss me off, man. On. Unlock. On. Unlock. On. Unlock. On. Unlock. On. Unlock. On. Oh my god, this is this is the annoying part about it. There we go. Thank you. Wow, listen to this baby hum. This is crazy. Let's fire some weapons. Can't even hear the guns. This is crazy. So, we're going to turn their dampeners off. We're at max speed anyways, and we're going to kind of just uh, cruise for a bit. And uh, maybe walk around. Can I walk around? No. Hey, we kind of can. It's hard. Now let's just sit in the chair and cruise. So anyways, I kind of want to turn these engines off. The engines off. The sound is just crazy. So we're cruising anyways. We're cruising through space at 100, 100 meters per second. So it's no biggie. We already reached max speed. So anyways, so the thing about space engineers, they're going to add planets. Now the cool thing about it is they already got the asteroids. They already have the open-ended space to it all. And now they're going to go ahead and expand it even further. They're working on um, artificial intelligence scenarios. They're going to redo the multiplayer completely, which is awesome because they really needed to do that. The multiplayer was kind of fucked up. I like, the, I like the name right there. That's pretty cool. The multiplayer was kind of fucked up. They really needed to work on that. Um, and there I am. Hee hee hee. But, you know, they, they really needed to work on that. Now, the cool thing about planets, what the fuck? Oh no! <laughs> no, we've had a hole breach! We've had a hole breach! I need to get out of here quick! What is going on? Oh god. All I wanted to do is talk about the new planets. Damn it. Oh shit. We gotta get to a command seat and stop this thing quickly. We've lost the cockpit. All the chairs exploded. Oh god. We've done lost everything. We <laughs> lost all control. No! We've had a hull breach. We've lost all control. Wow, so this sucks. So anyways, all right, so they're adding planets, which is cool. And I think the biggest one they said they're gonna add is about 50 kilometers. And I think pretty much what they're gonna do is they're gonna have some that are gonna have an atmosphere. I hope there's like some sort of, you know, heat protection needed to get through the atmosphere. And then, you know, there'll be like normal mountains, trees and stuff with the ones with the atmosphere and, the, and other planets won't have atmosphere. Um, they'll, they'll mix it up a bit. So about a 50 kilometer, uh, you know, wide planet. It's a pretty large thing. So like, it, it's pretty cool because it opens so many possibilities to be able to actually Hold on, can I put a command chair down? Yeah, I can. Cool. Let's stop this beast. Oh shit, we are... We are not doing good here. What happened? Like, what happened, man? Oh shit. Okay. Okay, we need to put another one right here. Quickly. I must get to it. We need to stop this thing, quick. No oxygen, no gravity, no nothing. Okay, so, let's turn on thrusters. Whoa. 
thrusters. Damn. Double blocks on. There we go. She's stabilizing now. Listen to those things go. I'm waiting for like pieces to come shooting out of the front of this thing. Okay, she's a bit stabilized, it looks like. Not really. We need to really kind of fix her spin, which is just getting way worse every time I do any sort of control input to it. Oh no, there's another piece like right there that's just being stupid. Should I enable gyroscopes, maybe? I feel like the gyroscopes aren't on it. Does it not have any? Maybe that's an issue. I want to know what happened. Alright, so let's put some gyroscopes on it. Maybe that'll help. We'll, we'll just fix it up slowly. I mean, it, it's just a small spin. But anyways, so they're going to be adding planets. Lots and lots of planets. Um, this, had so, this is something I've been waiting for. I've been just so, like, upset and just so patiently waiting for a space game to actually bring me planets. Because I've been so spoiled with Kerbal Space Program. Everybody loves Kerbal. I mean, the fact just going through to planets and landing is fucking awesome. Now, with Space Engineer, since it's such a big sandbox building game, you can do so many things with it. I mean, you can have a planetary base mining, you know, materials inside that planet with, like, actual, like, rover miners in, like, underground mines in the middle of the planet, like, doing all this. Then launching your resources via rocket up into orbit to get into a larger, you know, like, command ship or, you know, cruiser, you know, whatever. Something that's just bigger. Because you gotta think, if they do the planets right, you won't be able to get big ships, like capital ships, down onto the planet's surface, because it won't have the thrust needed to actually get up into, into space. So you'll have to do, like, little smaller subset missiles. Man, I am just not getting through this hole. There we go. Okay. And, um, so that's what you're going to be doing. There's just so many possibilities for it, man. You could have a random start where you have to start and build your own space program to even get off the planet. There's just so many possibilities that open up with having planets. And then with the multiplayer actually getting fixed on top of it, man, we did some serious damage to this cockpit. Um, with multiplayer being able to be fixed, what you're going to see is a lot, of, a, lot, a lot more servers, because there are servers for space engineers, but granted, it's not the best. There's a lot of lag, there's a lot of just really work needed. There's work needed. And um, you're just going to see a lot of really, really cool stuff pop up on these servers. Was I supposed to do that, or are those supposed to stay like that? I think they were supposed to stay like that. But um, you'll see a lot of really cool stuff come up, and I, I, me and all the guys are just really excited about this. We have a lot of really cool plans for when this actually hits. And um, one, of my, one of my favorite things about Space Engineers is they update the game every Thursday, like clockwork. They are one of the only early access games that are constantly, constantly updating their game and on it. Their dev blogs are on par. Um, they're, they're just a really awesome, awesome developer. I, I you know, medieval engineers, eh, I, I got different opinions about that, but um, Space Engineers is definitely one of my top ten games, and I really wish I could play it more, but it's just been very hard to get the guys to take, like, a survival let's play seriously, just because you know how they are. Um, but I think once planets get added, I'm going to sway them very, very well to uh, get that rolling, because that's something that they've been wanting from a game also. Like, uh, all the guys I know who who are into games like this are all about the all about the planetary gameplay. And, th and that's something that's going to be really cool. And it'll be one of the first space games to actually offer planets that have been released within, you know, the past few years. Because, you know, there are other space games out there, but one of the, you know, the few that are actually very, very well known. I should probably grind this to shit. Can I? The sound block. We lost a sound block. No! And, um, you know, it's going to be really cool. We're going to have some really cool things with it. If you're not a fan of Space Engineers, you really need to check it out. It's a really awesome game. 
it does take some cre creativity and time to get things going. Um, fortunately, I, I, while I do have some creativity, I can make a mean space stick ship. Um, I don't have the time to make ships, but there are some really talented people on the Steam Workshop that really make some awesome, awesome ships. But the planets are definitely going to be a really awesome thing. I'm already liking the oxygen system. I think that's fucking outstanding. And once they get it fully working, where you can completely pressurize, you know, all kinds of stuff on a ship, it'll be very, very awesome. And uh, just mix that with planets and atmosphere, and you really have the perfect game at that point. I mean, I don't know what else you would really want from it. Got to do this. Space. The final frontier. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't fix a lot of this stuff. I gotta go back in. Damn. I thought I'd got everything in this damn hole. Uh, just a few more things left. You know, it's just... This Space Engineers is just such an awesome game. It really is. And I'm just so excited for planets. Planets are gonna be really, really awesome. You know, space spaces. The kind of content you're gonna see from people. Especially, you know, mod communities. Just the modding community behind this. Um, you'll see some really awesome stuff. I'm hoping to see some, like, liquid fuel rockets that actually, you know, work. Um, one of the things I really want to see them work on is because right now, 104 meters per second is the max speed in space. That's kind of an engine limitation system for um, space engineers. And, you know, while that's not true, I mean, there's no real speed limit in space minus, you know, the obvious one. Um, I would really like to see, you know, that increase. And I know that they're, they're working on it. They've said in the past that they're definitely something they're working on. But um, I would like to see it, where you can actually get some really outrageous speeds out here. And that would also add into the fact that, you know, with planet's gravity, we'd need stronger different types of engines to actually, wow, that all got fucked up. Alright, well. We needed a door anyways. Bye-bye! Off into space you go. Damn, this whole thing got fucked up. I must have hit something that did like a fucking emergency break in space. Holy shit. But there's just really, a lot of really cool things. I could see Space Engineers becoming one of the one of the best games of of next year even, which is, you know, with the mod with the stuff they're putting out in the mod community, I, I really think this is one of my top five games. Honestly. One of the top five games on my hard drive. And uh, I got a lot of games on here. It's definitely a really awesome game. I actually, even though I don't record a lot of Space Engineers, just because, you know, it's really hard to kind of get content going when I can't do, like, a survival game um, or a survival let's play. I play this game all the time. I'm constantly checking out stuff, checking out, you know, some of the ships that have been put onto the workshop, always doing stuff with this game. Um, and I like it a lot. I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of really cool stuff coming for it, especially with the planets. Man, what the fuck? I mean, can you imagine this happening in a survival, in a survival mode? Like, say you're in a survival mode with, you know, you just launched your ship into space. You have zero resources to fix it in space. Um, and now you have to do multiple launches, get the guys in space to do multiple launches because you can't re-enter the atmosphere in a spacesuit. So these guys have to launch shit, either remotely or manned, up to repair your ship in space. I mean, just, just fucking awesome. Just think about it. I mean, it's just fucking awesome. There's gonna be so many awesome... Wow, this is almost... Almost foobar, man. We got another hull breach right here. This is just... This is a massive hull breach. Like, <laughs> like, see, if this is a survival let's play, and this is my first ship into space, I would be going nowhere. I would be on life support instantly. It's, I would be running on the power of my suit at this point until I get somebody to either rescue me or, you know, come bring supplies to help me fix this. Wow. This thing got fucked up. You know what? It might have been thruster damage. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I turned that off. I don't know what it was. Maybe something just came loose. Who knows? But anyways... The, the, uh, I'm going to put the blog post down below that uh, mentions all the planetary stuff and the future comings of uh, space engineers. And uh, we'll actually, so that way you guys can see what's going on. If you don't, you don't have space engineers on Steam, definitely check it out. 
Definitely worth the money, definitely worth your time. Even if you're not like the Minecrafty type guy, it's definitely really cool to check out. It's a really, really cool game. I love it a lot. One of my favorite games. Really fucking awesome. And uh, if you guys want to see more Space Engineers, give me an idea of some sort of uh, series I can do once planets are released and stuff. And uh, maybe I'll take it into consideration and make it happen. But I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.